In two weeks, the largest sport event ever will kick off in Brazil in Sao Paulo on June 12th with the FIFA World Cup. For us at Coca-Cola, that journey started almost three years ago. And when we started the journey, we started that journey with Quaid and Kennedy. They responded to our initial brief with this mood video. Coca-Cola vai falar como ela não vai ser. Não vai ser a Copa da Vuvuzela, do vidente, da celebridade, da menina bonita, dos jogadores ou do cabelo da moda, nem de quem tem ingresso, de quem ganhou, de quem perdeu, ou do jogador galã. Isso é pouco. Muito pouco para um país que tem tanto. Porque o Brasil não é um país, é um caldeirão. E aqui a gente põe mais água no feijão. É por isso que só fazer uma Copa seria pouco. We started off with this very primitive sketch that was actually done on a napkin. So, it, you know, it's not very kind of attractive or professional looking, but the idea of just having the ball in the middle and then players around the ball all kind of either playing or spectating the game. And then it was all kind of wrapped together with a contour bottle. For us, it was really important that we had a, an authentic Brazilian artist. We came across one guy who's, when I first saw his work, I was just blown away. He had this bold, simple and iconic approach. In many ways, just like Coke. The heart and soul of this guy, he was just like passionate about people, about life. And for us, that just layered over. There's those perfect sort of like human values that we felt could kind of take on a project like this. So as we thought about bringing to life this idea of the World Cup, one of the first elements that we launched was the FIFA World Cup Trophy Tour, which basically was taking the trophy itself and take it in 90 countries around the world on a journey, again, to bring the spirit and the idea of the World Cup to countries around the world, to the most remote communities, to football fans around the world. Now, one of the things that we did as well as part of this uh, tour is that we try to find stories Stories of fans that live, breathe, dream uh, FIFA and football every day in their life. And we wanted to celebrate those heroes. We wanted to celebrate those stories. And so in 24 countries around the world, we found and celebrated those uh, heroes and created a piece of content. piece of content where we brought the trophy to their communities. When it came to Brazil and FIFA World Cup and the rich heritage that Brazil has in our music, we wanted to make sure also that we created and found a song that would amplify our program. And so we partnered with uh, Mario Caldato, who's an iconic Brazil producer, used to be a producer of the Beastie Boys, who created the song. Then we partnered with Mano Blanco, who's kind of a, a drum um, a street a school, um, a very iconic in Brazil. And then we looked for an artist, and we wanted to find an artist that was up and coming, that was true to Brazil. And uh, we found David Corey. Basically, David became our global artist for this campaign. So him with Mario and Mel Blanco created The World Is Ours, which became our global song. And so we created a journey for this song. The song followed us on the trophy tour and each country we went to, we localized the song. We brought in a local artist jointly with David and we now have 24 versions of the song in 24 different languages of the song and now full circle as it's coming back to Brazil and that we're getting ready to the FIFA World Cup. We've released last week the final version of our song, uh, a song that David Corey is performing with Allo Black. Our ambition throughout this entire campaign was to make this the most inclusive, the most participatory marketing platform that we've ever built. And so this idea of the World Cup was to say, how do we bring the world and make them feel close. And so we created this program called the Happiness Flag. And the Happiness Flag was an invitation to the world, to people from all around the world, to send their picture. That picture would be part of a gigantic photo mosaic that would be displayed on the field of play on the opening game of the FIFA World Cup on June 12th in Sao Paulo. Although there's only 32 teams that will be competing for the FIFA World Cup, 206 countries will actually be on the pitch, on the field of play, as the FIFA World Cup starts. We thought this would be a great opportunity to take our, our visual identity system designer, artist, Spato, and actually collaborate with someone in many ways in, from a rival country from Brazil. We discovered this other street artist called Tech from Argentina. And the final flag design is almost kind of like this representation of the globe. So the final fusion of the happiness flag is, is really this blend of two. 
We want this FIFA World Cup to be the most inclusive, the most open, if you will, FIFA World Cup ever and make anyone from all around the world, as long as they have the, the passion for the game, to join and be part of the movement. The world.